you are getting sleepy very sleepy no wait you are getting hungry very hungry <laughs> Today we are headed to Taco Bell to try their Volcano menu. This started back in 1995. Hasn't been on the menu, I think, for seven years. It's a burrito and a taco. And by special request from me, <laughs> Bobby is going to try these two spicy items today. So we'll see how hot they really are. Are you ready to try those, Bobby? I'm hoping they're not too hot. We'll see. Well. Let's head to Taco Bell and pick these up. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Here's the Volcano Combo, $8.99. You choose your drink, you get a Volcano Double Beef Burrito and a Volcano Taco. So we're gonna get one of those. Well, we decided to come to the park to try these today. Bobby has the table all set up with her Pioneer Woman tablecloth and our Amish picnic basket. Now you can see all the excitement and adventure of the Congo in your local theater. Or you can taste it at Taco Bell. Introducing the Volcano Burrito, piled high with seasoned beef, beans, rice, a blend of three cheeses, and flowing with fiery red sauce. If you're hungry for excitement, get the new Volcano Burrito at Taco Bell. But hurry, at just 99 cents, a taste eruption like this won't be active for long. All right, let's unpack our stuff. See if they got everything. We got a couple volcano tacos. Check. Went with the extra dollar to get the lava sauce. There is the burrito and lava sauce. How's it look? All right, that's the stuff. All right, let's start with the burrito first. All right, Bobby's going to unwrap the Double Beef Volcano Burrito. And then we're going to cut it in half, and then we'll go over and tell you everything that's in it. There we go. Looks pretty even. Let's take a look at the insides of it. Starting off with a double helping of seasoned beef, seasoned rice, a three cheese blend in there, reduced fat sour cream, fiesta strips, and a warm flour tortilla, and lava sauce. I see the sour cream, it looks like there's a little bit of lava sauce on that side. The phone's blurring, I guess, with the sun. All right, we're ready to try this. The returning fan favored, a lot of hype around these. We have never tried anything off the Volcano menu, so we're pretty excited, but I'm gonna have Bobby start off with it. Let's hope it's not too spicy. Now that first bite, I did get some spice. I really like the rice inside of this. The meat is flavored very well. I got the crunch of the, I think those are like corn chips in there? They're like, or some yeah. kind of strips? Yeah, they're strips like we put in salads. Oh, okay, I really like that. The cheese blends well in there. It is spicy, but I can eat this. As long as I have my drink beside me. So it's not a volcano yet for you? Not yet, but like I said, I got spice when I first bit into it. Now my first reaction to this, by looking at it being cut open, there's a lot of rice in there. Double beef, not sure about that. Not sure how much is in a regular one. 
but I'm going right in this corner where I can see some of that lava sauce. There's some of that lava sauce, guys. Now on that first bite, I could get a little bit of that heat with the beef blended in. I know it has sour cream in there and I thought that might cool it down. You really can't taste much of that sour cream. Now when I took the second bite, I got a lot of rice and that kind of took the flavor away. I didn't get much heat at all because I could tell that there was lava sauce in that, but it wasn't hot like I thought it would be. I mean, it says it's volcano. I think it's probably going to be a little more spicier on the taco just because there's so many things in here, but it is good. And we also brought some chips to dip in the lava sauce by itself at the end. What happens when someone tries the new volcano taco? No one can resist the mild spiciness of its lava dressing. The new Volcano Taco from Taco Bell. Crunchy red tortilla, seasoned beef, shredded cheddar cheese, lettuce, and a delicious spicy lava dressing. Try something a little spicier, because man does not live by bread alone. We've got this watermelon berry freeze. I've already had some of it, but take some of it now. It's starting to melt out here. That's pretty decent. You get a lot of watermelon flavor from that. They have a lemonade one. And that's the one I ordered, but they must have messed up and gave me this one. But this is still pretty good. I would get this again also. Now let's unwrap the Volcano Taco. We got two of these. All right, there it is. Now we're going to talk about the ingredients of the Volcano Taco. Seasoned beef, shredded lettuce, a three cheese blend, fiery red volcano crunchy shell, and lava sauce. So I looked up what lava sauce is. It's basically a spicy cheese sauce with red jalapeno peppers in it. Now you know. Now as you notice, the shell is very hot looking. Hope that's not a warning for me. Look inside and see how much ingredients they put in this taco. Gave us plenty. I definitely will not be trying another bite of this. This, is, this one's too spicy. I guess because the sour cream is not in it. Definitely will not try that. <laughs> it's too hot for so me. You like, but you can handle the burrito. I, I don't know if it's because of the rice and probably the sour cream that was in that. I get a really bad burn like in the back of my mouth. Yep. And one bite did that to you. One bite. So the only thing I have to say about this is I'm one and done. Now I love the color of this, but I don't think this has any flavor. No spice or anything. I'm going to try it by itself here in a minute. But let's go in. Let me see how much meat I got in mine. Yep, I can see the lava sauce down in the bottom. Just go at it, guys. Going in for bite number two. I like this taco. It's a little spicier than the burrito, and that's because of all the other things going on in there. But it's still not burning me out. I don't have a burn yet in the back of my throat. I, I might when I try the sauce by itself. I still have a burn. You still have a burn? <laughs> yes. Maybe I need to take one more bite. You know what, though? Before I forget, let me just take a bite of this shell. Mm. Now, guys, this shell looked hot but it was not spicy at all. Let me go one more. Well, after that third bite, still about the same, maybe a little above a medium. Something I noticed about these shells, normally when you get shells from Taco Bell, they're always broken. Both of these are not broken. Must be pretty fresh. I do like the flavor of all this. I would get these again. I'm gonna try this sauce. I don't know if Bobby is. I'm going to try to talk her into it, but I'm going to try this sauce with just some chips. The lava sauce by itself, guys. Looks almost like a nacho cheese. A orange nacho cheese. Bobby, you going for it? I'm out. I've drank all of this after that one bite of a taco, so I'm definitely not going to try this. I don't know if you guys noticed how foggy it seems it's just a haze from those fires in Canada it would be a beautiful sunny day today you can really smell a lot of the smoke too can't you you can 
And we've seen people with masks on mm -hmm. again, walking around. Brought some chips from home to try this lava sauce with. It was $1 to add on. It's a pretty good idea. You can put that on anything on the menu. All right, let's get a couple chips out here. Just look at it, see how thick it is. Eh, it's reasonably thick. There's quite a bit on there, so let's just go in. Now, it's a lot hotter eating it like this with the chip than it was on those two items. I do get a slight burn in the back of my throat and my tongue's a little on fire. So the best way to describe this would be maybe a hot nacho cheese with cayenne pepper in it because that's kind of what it looks like. Looks like there's some cayenne pepper inside that. Let me just try one more. Getting that burn again in the back of my throat. I did enjoy this. I enjoyed both of these. I know all you guys are wondering how hot this is, so I'm gonna let you try it. I'm gonna dip this last piece of burrito in there with a lot of that sauce. Don't Tell me do, what you think. Don't do it. All right, let's take a look at our receipt from Taco Bell, the Volcano Combo, which consists of a drink, a taco, and a burrito, $8.99. We added another taco on for $2.69. A side of lava sauce for a dollar, a large drink, $2.89, grand total, $16.68. I think the combo deal is the way to go. Well, we just got done trying the returning fan favorite, the Volcano Menu. What did you think about it? I will not be trying the taco again. To me, it was too spicy. They did put plenty of meat and cheese and lettuce in it. The burrito probably was my favorite. I would get that again. The heat level for me between zero to 10 would be a five. There was some spiciness to that, but the sour cream and the rice, I think took away some of that, helped cool it down. The meat had a really nice flavor, so I definitely would try that one again. I'm gonna stop the video here for one second to clarify something. Bobby just said the heat scale was a five on the burrito. What about the taco? A nine. A nine. Well, Bobby liked the burrito the best. I liked the taco the best because that lava sauce had some good flavors to it. And you could really taste the lava sauce with the taco, not like you could with the burrito. I didn't think with the burrito it was very spicy. It was decent. What scale would you put it on? Yeah, maybe about a five. I mean, it wasn't real hot. But with the taco, it was so much better. And then when you eat it by itself, you could really taste it. You could get a lot of burn. I could not get Bobby <laughs> to try that. But both items I would get with that lava sauce. I thought that burrito's flavor was better than the regular Taco Bell burrito that you get. And I tried the watermelon berry freeze. I did enjoy that. I like to have tried it with the lemon in it because I like lemonade. But I would get that again. At happy hour, you get that stuff from two to five and you can get it half price. So I was satisfied with all of them. A little bit disappointed with the heat. You guys know that watch this channel. Bobby can't stand a lot of heat and she was able to eat those. So the burrito. You, the burrito. The no, but you still weren't over there crying after you bit into that talk. At least I didn't see you crying. <laughs> That's why I only took one bite. Okay. I do want to also mention how they prepared both the taco and the burrito. A lot of times when you get fast food, when you open it up, it's kind of sloppy looking, but they did a really good they job, did. didn't they? I they mean, did. everything was nice and neat. And everything was there. Mm -hmm. That's oh, a. And I like the corn chip things that they put in the burrito. We Maybe get them crunch. once, yeah. Well, we get those once in a while and put them in our salads. You can pick those up in the grocery store. So those did add a little bit of crunch. Mm -hmm. And we brought them here, so we didn't eat them right there. So they survived a trip, a few minutes of waiting for us to get ready, and they were still crunchy. So the final thing I have to say about these are, if you like decent spice you enjoy both these if you're expecting a flaming scorching hot item it's not there but it was good so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe yeah so until we meet again j and b have left the building <laughs>